Hi. So for those of you who don't know, me and my girlfriend, Micah, uh, as seen in the most popular YouTube video out there, dental hygienists react to ASMR. <laughs> the video actually did pretty good for having a small channel. But anyway, we bought a house uh, together and it's been awesome, it's been amazing, it's been fun, it's been terrifying, um, but overall it's been pretty good. So I had the idea of making a song in like one session it's kind of like a let's play video game, but for music. No, I'm not the first person to do that. There's millions of videos of people making music, but now I want to do it. So let's dive in. Let's just make a song. Uh, if this gains traction, hopefully I'll have some of you guys tell me what kind of song that you want me to make and we'll, we'll just have fun with it. That's the whole point of this is just to have fun, relaxing, no stress, just making a song. So I thought maybe for the first one, we'll do like an indie pop song, just something that's fun, easy, and we could just, you'll see. So I have Logic open, new project, blank, no intentions of what I'm gonna make right now. I don't know how in depth I should be about this stuff as well. Like, do you guys wanna know what samples I'm using, whatever? Let me know. <laughs> So I want to make like a indie pop fun summer track, something that has a lot of energy. Um, so let me just take away a lot of these unnecessary plugins here. I hear somebody whining. Give me one sec. <laughs> Off to a great start so far. There was whining from downstairs. So real quick, I want you all to meet. Come here, bud. Ah. This is Cooper. He's a puppy. Oh, <laughs> we bought a dog, and I'm sure you'll see him in more videos. <laughs> if he's too distracting in this, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> Usually, when I start making songs, um, I start with drums. Helps me uh, just find a good little place to start. Let's do the uh, the wind drums there. All right, so let's start with a drum beat. Let's see what that sounds like. Quantize it. I'm gonna use this 1970s analog ARP, which is like pretty default sounding Standard, nothing too crazy. And I'm actually gonna take the delay off. All right, let's see what this will sound like. All right, so I added this bass line and it sounds like this. And I think this hi-hat is a little too harsh as well. So let's roll off the highs a little bit. And don't forget everyone, we don't want a messy workflow. So I am giving everything colors, and making it pretty. One plugin that I've been using a lot lately is the stereo from uh, Kilo Hearts, Kilo Hearts, I don't know how to pronounce it, but uh, when you buy the Slate Everything Digital Bundle, uh, it's like 10 bucks a month. You get every single Slate plugin and you get a couple other extras as well. And this plugin, I love it. It just, just does what it does. It makes it wider. So now what I'm gonna do is just find like a, uh, a softer synth maybe, something that isn't uh, too harsh and aggressive, a little warm, kind of like a Juno. I love the Anna 2 synth from Slate Audio. Not sponsored, just love it. Please sponsor me. So here's what this plugin sounds like. And I just drew some chords in from the bass notes. Now let's put a high cut over it just to... I'm doing this to kind of keep it under control. I want it softer. So without it, here how it gets kind of harsher. I still want it to be full force. Just, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Guys, is it really an indie pop song if it doesn't have 
a tape cassette intro. So I'm just putting a high pass and a low pass, and then I'm gonna use one of my favorite plugins to use by Callum Audio. It's called Tape Cassette 2. They have a couple different tape cassettes. This one is my favorite. No reason. It's just great. Sounds good so far. So I think it'd be kind of cool to take that, the end of this little tape part and put it in right before it hits again. So full and then back to bum bum bum. Right, I kind of have more of an idea where I'm going right now. Ooh. So I have two snares. I have this one and this one. For the other one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a whole bunch of reverb on it. And we'll do variated hits. So. We'll also change up the pattern a little bit. So I want to do something different for the chorus. I want to make it more like pumping. You good down there? <laughs> so I'll just add kicks to every beat. So I think with that, I'm going to add like some just real 80s just nonsense. I want to change up the, the bass line and pretty much the whole chord progression for the... Can you quiet down over there? <laughs> I'm going to change the whole chord progression for the chorus. Um, we'll figure it out. That's probably really noisy. So sorry. So now I'm just copying over the bass line to the Juno swells. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna use the retro synth from Logic and we're gonna make our own little sharp, sharp cheddar pad. <laughs> There's some things that I already know like what I want to do before I do it. Let's add another little, oh my gosh, I did not even. Let's add like another little twinkle type synth. All right, what little like melody could we do? All right, we'll do a hard one. Like, by the way, when I say hard, I don't know what I'm talking about. So let's see how that little thing would sound in the chorus. I have an idea. Are you okay? What just, he just freaked out. <laughs> You like it so far, bub? Hmm? He hates it. I'm gonna shorten the intro a little bit. I have an idea, which is very dangerous. It worked. All right, let's bring in some guitars. Today, uh, for guitars, I'll be using this custom Haywire uh, it's like a three-quarter scale, a good friend. His name is Danny Fisher. He gave it to me a long time ago. We were in a band together in Maryland. Danny, I still use it. I still love it. This thing sounds great. What just happened? What did I miss? Hi, this is Editing Trevor. Uh, a lot happened during this part. Uh, one thing, I totally didn't realize that I was recording the interface 
and my guitar goes into the interface. So it was blaring, it was really, really loud and obnoxious, so I can't show the part of me recording the guitars. It's, from here on out, it just becomes a whole mess. So please enjoy the downfall of this video. <laughs> So as you can see, I have nothing organized, nothing's named, and I'm gonna leave it that way. Don't forget everyone, we don't want a messy workflow. I'm gonna leave it that way. So I am super self-conscious when it comes to recording vocals and to writing even. So I'm gonna go write, I'm gonna go record the vocals. Cooper's gonna keep playing with his toy and it'll be fine. I'll be right back. Oh no. All right, so the song is written. Words will probably get changed. Uh, I'm not the strongest writer in the world, but it's okay. Um, indie pop is all about being shallow. <laughs> it's not, but we'll see. So I just recorded the verse. I think for the chorus, I'm gonna do like a group vocal thing. I don't know if you could hear it. My neighbor is playing music so loud. <laughs> to be fair, so am I. My dog just farted so bad. This is a fucking cursed video. Okay, real quick. I've been getting calls Thank you for calling Direct TV, AT &T. If from you know this number, you may dial and I need it to time. stop now. <laughs> Hi, I keep getting calls about my AT&T account, and I don't have one, so I can you have them not call me anymore? <laughs> okay, sir, I'll put you on the do not call list, so you will be receiving no more calls from AT&T. Thank you. You're Bye. <laughs> I try to make a video, my dog keeps farting, everything's going wrong. <laughs> so I think I'm done. Uh, I only wanted to do up until the first chorus because if I had to write a whole song, that would take a lot longer than an hour to film. <laughs> so let's see how it sounds. Waiting patiently, sitting by the phone, call me up and tell me that you're all alone. If I come now, I know I'm not going home So tell me where you wanna go So tell me what you wanna know So call me now and tell me not to go home I need a reason to be lost tonight I need a reason to feel alright I need a reason to make you mine So there it was, made a song. Was it good? Probably not, <laughs> but I did it. And that's the point of the video was just to make a song. Regardless of the quality of the song, I really enjoyed making a video like this. This video has been extremely challenging. It's kind of makes me vulnerable a little bit. You can see directly what I'm doing. Um, and that's scary sometimes. And another thing like, you know, during the vocals, I was having huge writer's block. I was getting frustrated at myself a little bit and that's okay. It's part of the process, you know? You just can't kill yourself about it. You can't get so obsessed with failure that you drive yourself insane. I wanna make another video that goes in depth a little about artist burnout and what I feel creating, because I think you know other artists can relate to that, and I think it's an important thing that we should highlight that burnout is just part of it. If you liked this video, uh, great, expect more like it because I have a lot of ideas in this format that I want to make on the channel. If you didn't like it, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just really happy that I made a video again since it's been so long. I have made and uploaded probably like 10 videos from now between last upload that I haven't made live. I've been like a little, not embarrassed about it, but not my proudest, but I feel proud of this video hopefully when I'm done editing it. <laughs> Thank you guys for hanging out and sticking with me throughout this video. If you liked it, please press the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.